Are you going places or left behind because you don't have a travel companion? Listen to how you can travel more independently. Dr. Travel Best will bring you the best answers, tips, and her mistakes so you can benefit. Welcome to Dr. Mary Travel Best's Independent Travel Guide. This is for women who travel, who want to travel, and especially for those who want to travel independently. In this episode, the FAQ is, how can I take better care of our planet Earth? The destination is Reno, Nevada, and my mistake is seafood poisoning. The travel tip is to ship your fish on the plane with you, if possible. So FAQ, how can I take better care of our planet as I travel? Answer, sustainable travel is for you and for me. When you go somewhere, be sure to leave it as you found it. Take only memories from nature and leave only footprints. Sierra Club has taught me well, as has AAA. Here are some other answers. Number one, eat local. Take shorter trips, closer to home is two. Number three is travel on public transportation. Number four is pack smart. Number five is travel slow. And six, fewer flight connections. Today's independent destination, Reno, Nevada. So travel with me on Highway 15, heading home after a week in the Eastern Sierras, including Reno, Carson City, Virginia City, and Sparks. The temperature is 96 degrees, and our temperatures inside the air-conditioned minivan are heated at times and relaxed at others. We made two stops since leaving Sparks at 6.30 a.m. today. And in Bishop, we stopped for sandwiches at the famous Sheep Herders restaurant, and then we stopped in Ridgecrest for gas. The highlights of the trip were seeing our relatives and enjoying each other's company, a birthday party of 34 people from 10 regions of the U.S., the tourist activities were in Virginia City. We visited an old schoolhouse and walked the sidewalks where authentic saloons and antique stores abound. We took a tour on a railroad that gave color to the many mining stories of yesteryear. And the tour guide described what life was like in the 1850s through the 1890s, when this was one of the largest silver mines in the world. The Comstock load was the biggest find making multiple millionaires of the prospectors lucky enough to stumble upon this. Now, the lucky ones are the shopkeepers who sell their wares and make a few dollars profit from the tourists. This small town has Torum as its only visible source of revenue. Now, Carson City, on the other hand, is the state capital of Nevada and has lots of museums, but industry and politics seem to spread the economy. Each of these cities are close to Reno, just 15 minutes by car, very accessible to independent travelers. Stay in the Reno hotels in the summertime and venture out for the day with your family. Bring a cooler. Nothing's really expensive here, except for the gold and silver that you might want to take with you. Winters are different with skiing in the nearby mountains and you'll need to bring tire chains. We passed by some beautiful scenery on our way to and from San Diego. Those include June Lake, Yosemite, and Mono Lake. So if you're looking for a Western vacation away from Big Sur and close to inexpensive travel destinations, Reno and the Eastern Sierras may be your best bet. Now for today's mistake, food poisoning. There's nothing like being sick that can ruin a trip. I ate udam with shrimp in the 1221 restaurant, which was close to the Takoro Gorge in Taiwan, not too far from Taipei. It was in a nice restaurant and I was awfully sick. The full bucket experience was what I had and you don't ever want that. My mistake, I think, was telling the restaurant that I was in a hurry. So they probably didn't cook it well enough and I think that's what got me so sick. I had three shrimp and my daughter had one. She was not as sick as me, but we both had the poison for a day. Today's travel advice is ship your frozen fish on the plane with you. So we went fishing in Alaska and we had a company freeze our pack of 187 pounds of fish. And they did that for about $400. Now we paid the excess airline baggage fees 
which were significant, about another $200. However, this was much less than shipping via FedEx. And overall, the fishing almost paid for our trip, considering the retail cost of the fish. So all in all, we were very happy. I want to bring meaning to your travel in the future. I'm looking for you to travel best. So please send me your travel questions so I can help you and help others too. And what's on your bucket list? What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is. 